Hello, welcome to another edition of Johnny Investing. Other people trying to sell you something. I'm just here to find those A winners. Go getters. Trend setting companies to invest in. Thank you for joining me wherever you may be. We got a great show for you today. Today we're talking about an exciting biotech company, Nucana. Please read the disclaimer on your own time. So Nucana is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. Uh, They're basically focused on finding improving treatment outcomes for patients with cancer. They got this exciting pro technology that's going to transform, hopefully, a lot of already mostly prescribed chemotherapy agents that are nucleoside analogs. They're trying to make them more effective and safer medications. So let's take a look at their leadership team. You know how in biotech, I think leadership is very important. Uh, you got to have a biotech company that have good leaders that are accountable, very responsible. You want long-term thinkers. And this guy, Hugh Griffin, CEO and board member, this is the type of guy you want in your corner when you're looking for a biotech company to invest in. He is very, very talented. Hugh Griffith, I mean, he's got over 398 patents. I want to say over 300 patents that are pending. I mean, this guy's very talented. Natural born leader, long term thinker, self motivated. I've heard him in a bunch of interviews. I mean, he's the type of guy, you know, you want these in these biotech companies. You got to remember, they're always trying to, you know, if the study doesn't go well, they want to do data dredging, they want to, you know, make the study fit. You got to be able to adapt. That's a very big thing that has to happen in these biotech companies. They got to understand when things aren't going right, you got to move the resources to something that's more promising. And that's this guy, Hugh Griffith is an outstanding leader. That's what we're looking for here. So let's go to the pipeline because the pipeline's going to tell you a lot. And I'm really excited about these pipeline of medications. So you see NUC3373, Protide, Nutide 302, They have a topper or somerase 1 inhibitor, a runotekin. So that is, you know, the big side effect to that is actually they they used to make a joke saying, I run a tekin, I run to the can, because the big side effect, unfortunately, is diarrhea. You know, but it does a wonderful job. Um, You know, it's a topper or somerase inhibitor, inhibited antinoplastic medication. And they have it in combination with bevocizumab, uh, which is a vascular endothelia growth factor inhibitor. You know, the other one that I'm really looking excited to is the pembrolizumab PD-1 inhibitor. Uh, That's a big, great medication that's done a really good job, PD-1 inhibitor, with, which is a checkpoint inhibitor, in combination with paxlitaxel. And as you know, that's a antimicrotubular agent. You know, all these medications that have been proven to work, okay? What they're trying to do is overcome some of these cancer cell resistance mechanisms and decrease some of these side effects. You know, the NUC 3373, uh, 303, the nucleotide 303 in solid tumors, you know, it's in it's in phase one. Uh, that's That looks really exciting to me. That These type of medications look really exciting because they've known to work and if they can improve upon them, if they can, you know, create less side effects, create higher concentrations, I mean, it can be really beneficial to patients as well as investors. Uh, the guy, the late chief scientific officer, um, the professor McGuire, uh, McGuigans, he was the guy that came up and developed this, you know, protide, this oral ester amino acid group a phosphomidate motif that protects these nucleotide analogs. I mean, he came up with this technology and, you know, it's worked before. It's worked in other FDA approved antiviral drugs, these protides. I mean, they, Gilead, Sofaldi, the brand name Sofaldi. Go look how much that's made. Sofospuvir is the generic name. Uh, 
tenofovir alfonamide, furamate, okay, that's another protide, viride, remdesivir, you probably heard of all those, are have that protide, you know, uh, protide containing, you know, improving those nucleoside analogs. So this is really promising. You know, I think this is, has a lot of potential. Let's take a look at the stock price, though. So this is what I'd like to see. Stock symbol, NCNA. Stock symbol, NCNA. As of today, it's trading at $1.07. And I think this is a tremendous opportunity. Nucana is going to be announcing a lot of data in the rest of this year. Okay, they got their 701 study, their 302 study, their 303 study. And if some of that data is positive, some of that data is positive, I think you're going to reach $10 a share. This could be a 10x return, you know, just on those data reporting. If they get positive data, I think a lot of investors are overlooking this company because, oh, it's not immunotherapy. But you got to remember, these chemotherapies, that's still a staple for oncology. It's still a staple. Um, and I think this protein technology has been proven to be make these nucleoside analogs better. And I think the upside could be tremendous. And I think this is a great opportunity. Take a look at NCNA, Nucana. This could be a 10x return in 2022, folks. That's all the time we have. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Have a wonderful day.